Hello my purple banditos and welcome back to our let's play Pokemon Omega Ruby version. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we were actually in Slateport. As you can see I'm back here in Rustboro City because I actually need to go ahead and pick up an HM for us which you know I might have left behind so we're gonna go ahead right here and talk to this guy. He's gonna give us HM01 cut. Now to save you guys all the trouble of all the you know traveling around I don't want to give you guys jet lag or whatever it is. So with that we're gonna make our way back to Slateport and we'll continue right where we were. Alright guys, so we're back here in Slateport City. Now, thank you guys for reminding me to get HMO one cut. That was actually a suggestion I got from all of you. So thank you guys very much for that. Without you guys, I wouldn't even remember half of these things. You know, sometimes I just get going and I lose myself in my mind and I lose my... Oh, who's this? Oh, wow. Oh, man. You're looking good over here. Who you is, girl? Alright. Hi, everybody! Lizia here, me and my Alterio Alley have come to Slayport City's Contest Spectacular Hall for a bit of fun! Well then, watch me as I dive right in again today! Okay, so I'm guessing this is probably going to be the contest winner, like the boss of contests. Don't really remember her from anything. Lizia's miraculous contest scouting! Alright, well, you know what? I think I got a lot of talent to me. My boy Zagu. Zagu knows how to drop it. Has, has anyone seen Zagu rocking it lately? Zagu knows how to dress, if you guys know what I'm saying. She just picked me out of this crowd. You there, watching me with that baffled expression on your face. Hi! Have you never joined in on a contest? That's just what I want to hear. Wait, uh, wait, I'm not ready. I'm not my Pokemon are ready. I didn't get the Manny Petties and I didn't get them all looking good yet. I'm, I'm, they're not they're not ready to compete, girl. I'm sorry, but they're just they're not in their right mind ready to go right now. You know, we've been traveling a lot. We're a little tired, but she's going to give me a contest pass. And now the contest pass and the Pokeblock kit is what are actually going to allow us to compete in these. Very simple, the contest pass allows for us to actually enter the competition. The Pokeblock kit allows us to give our Pokemon Pokeblocks, which is pretty simple. If you guys remember in the original Emerald, uh, Ruby and Sapphire, you actually had the little Poke... Did she just drop that... Alright, whatever. Uh, you could actually uh, use the Pokeblocks to you know, get your Pokemon certain special things that will help you through the contest. Uh, so that's pretty much what you can do here now with the Pokeblock kits. Uh, which is pretty, pretty simple. And, uh, you know, I thought it was something that pretty much we, we would all know. Alright, so with that, you know what, girl? I'm not trying to do no Pokemon contest right now. Oh, please don't tell me we actually have to go in here. Are we actually going to have to compete in a Pokeblock or in a, or in a Pokeblock contest? No. In a contest of these? Alright, we're good. Next time, maybe we might do some. Maybe I'll do some later on, but for now, I just want to get this adventure on its way. Because I'm actually quite excited about today. Here on Route 110... We're actually going to be adding a special team member. Uh, so thanks to all you guys who suggested it. And look who it is. Let's keep going through Route 110 and head for Mount Chimney. It'll be quite a long journey. Let's take a rest in Marvel City, which is on the way. All right. Take it easy, guys. You'd think for a big group like Team Magma, they'd have a little more cash on their hands. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. We got, we got ourselves a battle. There's actually going to be a lot of battles here, but I'm kind of excited for it. You know, I enjoy training a little bit, and if you guys remember, I've been doing a little training myself, so I took on a lot of, uh, you know, Slateport's beach people, you know, the, the, the beach party, and now we can actually go ahead and battle some of these people. Elric is level 14, looking quite good, and now I've also thought of a lot of different things that I would actually like to do to our team, so, you know, I've been slowly taking these suggestions in from you guys. A lot of you guys actually messaged me about it. Uh, so thank you guys for that. Um, thank you so much for all your support. And I hope you guys have been enjoying this game as much as I have lately. Uh, it means a lot to me. You know, make sure you're giving these videos likes because, uh, you know, that helps out the series. And I really appreciate it. I hope you guys are having a lot of fun with it like I am. I honestly haven't had this much fun with a game in a long time. Like, I'm feeling so good. I just love playing it with you guys. And I'm just having, like, a really, really great time with it. And it's just been it's just been an absolute blast and I just can't wait to see you know as we get going how much better it's gonna get and uh, you know how much crazier the game's gonna get in general because the beginning might be very similar but as we get going the changes will begin to happen and it's once these changes begin to happen that I'm just excited to see you know all the crazy shenanigans that come with this game all right let's go ahead and finish off the puzzle then and we will be ready to continue on our way let's keep it going guys all right let's go ahead and do it all right, we gained a bunch of XP, and with that, we are looking solid, guys. And she's going to send out a mine in now. That's okay, that's okay. I can't wait until we get more Pokemon that can just, like, you know, crap on the opponents. Let's see. Let's see how much Pursuit's going to do. Oh, Boomy can only use Quick Attack. Who the mother fudger? I didn't even notice they did that to us. That's fine. Man, we do, like, no damage to the mine in, too. 
Oh, what is this? What are we playing? Is Minin being a little bit of a gambler right now? I don't even know what's going on. I like that, though. I like it a little bit. Ooh. All right, we're about to knock it out. We're, like, two quick attacks away. And then we can continue on this road. I'm actually not too ecstatic that we actually have to do these battles. Um, because I know we're actually going to have another stronger, tougher battle actually coming up very, very soon. I'm sure you guys probably know what I'm talking about. You've played through Hoenn before. Let's just go ahead and knock this guy out. It sucks that they force some of these battles on you, but what can we do? We hit a crit, mining is out, and with that, we defeated the random trainer. All right, I'm feeling good. We're level 20, which is very, very good. We're actually pretty strong right now. Wow, we gained a ton of XP there too. All right, we defeated her, and let's keep on going. I'm actually gonna use a potion though before we go any further. Uh, hopefully, you know, I'm gonna try to dodge as many trainers as possible because I would like to make it to the town next. Uh, you know, I don't want to mess around a whole lot. And one more thing I'm actually going to do here is I am going to go ahead and put Zagu, Zagu the Beast. That's what we're going to call Zagu from now on. Zagu the Beast up in front. And let's keep on going, guys. Let's keep on going. All right. This is beautiful. Now, this is very reminiscent. You see what they've done here? They pretty much turned it into back into, like, the emerald uh, look, the emerald view, which is real, real cool. Whoa, what the heck? A Voltorb? Nah. Nah, dude, I'm not messing with a Voltorb. I am not messing with a Voltorb. Let's keep on running. I'm not going to mess with that. I'm actually just going to try my way through this route. And I hopefully, you know, we'll make it through here without too much trouble. Now, before we go any further, uh, as you can see, I haven't used the Repel yet. It is for the fact that we are actually going to be adding a Pokemon to our team. Uh, up ahead is a certain trainer that I don't want to bump into yet. So let's just go ahead and run around the grass and see if I can find the Pokemon we've been looking for. Not that one either. Not that one either, guys. Hopefully, it doesn't take me too long to find this Pokemon. For now, I'm going to keep running. As you can see, it's a bunch of electric types here on this route, which is pretty, pretty cool. Uh, I've always liked this route. I don't know why, but for some reason, this was one of the routes that always popped out to me as a kid. It, it always just stood out. You know, it's one of those that you just remember going through, you know, as a kid. And with that, guys, we found the Pokemon we've wanted to add to our team. So it is an Electrike. We are going to be adding an Electrike to our team, and it's pretty much caught up in levels at this point. I'm just going to go for the Headbutt to try to catch it. Uh, Electrike's a great addition to our team. So thanks to all you guys who actually suggested it. A lot of you guys have given me really, really great team comps, uh, and I just really appreciate you guys doing that. Oh, mother fudger. Are you kidding me? Did we really just get paralyzed before one of the most important crucial battles of this game? Not really. It's, it's not that crucial. All right, let's go ahead and throw a Great Ball then. If you guys remember, we actually picked up a few of those, and we're going to go ahead and use the Great Ball, and hopefully, you know, that'll uh, help us catch this Electrike that we can maybe even use in this battle. Which would be real, real nice. I would really... Oh, wow. This thing doesn't want to stay in. This thing's being a little a little tough about it. Okay. You know, I like Pokemon that are a little bit tougher. It shows character. And uh, that's what our team needs. It needs Pokemon with character that are going to stand up against the odds and, uh, you know, get it going. Come on. Stay in there. This... Come on, man. How are you not going to stay in there? I actually like Electrike. It was one of the first Pokemon I ever caught when I played through Hoenn. I just really liked the way it looked. I, I thought it looked great. I thought it was a really cool, cute, awesome looking Pokemon. Come on, dude, please, 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 please. Ah, there we have it. With that, guys, we finally caught Electrike, and we have added another Pokemon to our team, which is quite exciting. It's good times. It's good vibes. We're doing great. I'm enjoying it. And with that, we gain a bunch of XP. It's cool that you even get XP for catching Pokemon nowadays. You didn't get that back in the good old days. With that, we have caught uh, Electrike. It's an electric type, and we are going to go ahead and give it a nickname. Now, back in the day, when I was a youngin', I used to play a certain, certain game. I used to watch a certain show. It was called Beyblades. So with that, I'm going to nickname it Dryger. If you guys ever watched the original Beyblades, Dryger was like this electric dog cat type thing. Uh, so I just thought it was quite fitting. So with that, we've added Dryger to our team, uh, which is really, really cool. I actually have been wanting to use that name for a long time. So I'm glad that we actually finally got the chance to use it on one of these Pokemon. Now, I'm actually going to go ahead and heal us all up because we, have, we do have a battle coming up. Um, and I'm a little bit nervous uh, because I don't know what to expect. I think I might actually put Dryger up in front just to see what's coming out since Dryger is a little bit weaker. Uh, just, you know, to mix it up a little bit. So, Dryger, you're about to get right into the action. Man, we only have male Pokemon. I'm not even trying to do that, guys. It's just, it's kind of happening. We're just kind of doing it. And hey, what's up? It's May. Hey, 
Hey, Roger, it's been ages. Nice timing, too. I was just searching for Pokemon, you know? My dad is always going on about how nature used to be even more diverse way back in the day. He says that there used to be way more kinds of Pokemon, so that's why we do field work, him and me. We really want to find out what happened to those Pokemon in the past. On my journey up to now, I've met a lot of different Pokemon. I think I've gotten to understand a lot of them, too. Me and my Pokemon have really grown, so how about a little battle? Here we go, Rodri versus May. Let's go ahead and take her on. I want to whoop her butt, guys. She only has three Pokemon. We have four. She's going to open up with Whalmer. Oh, mother fudge. I totally just predicted that. Wow. Holy crap. Look at that. Me making a good call. Who would have thought, right? Doesn't happen very often. Let's go for the Thunder Wave. Uh, okay, that's probably going to... I don't know. It might not knock us out. Wow, it didn't. Okay. Okay. There we go. We have this, guys. We're looking quite good. That was actually very, very good of us to actually open up uh, with with Dryger then. I love that name Dryger. It's so cool. It's such a strong name and it just sounds amazing. Let's see. Uh, let's go for the Leer. You know, there's not much we can do right now, so I'm just going to weaken this Pokemon as much as possible. And then I'm probably just going to set up for Boomy to come out and just whoop it up. That might actually take us down. Yeah, it did. All right, but you know what? Boomy's going to come out here and we're going to about to, you know, knock some stuff out. Thank you, Dryger. We will be training Dryger a little bit off screen. So don't worry about that, guys. We will be doing that once, uh, you know, we get it going. All right, let's go for the Mega Drain. It should absolutely crush, crush this Whalmer. All right. Yeah, there we go. See, I knew it was going to do a lot. Are uh, you really going to use the Whirlpool on me? Look, this ain't, this ain't no laundry machine. Stop, stop using the Whirlpools. You know, you know what I'm saying, guys? Stop using the Whirlpools. There's no, there's no laundry machines around here. All right. This isn't a, a wash and dry type of battle. This is a we're going to whoop your butt type of battle. All right. All right. Whalmer is down. The one Pokemon I'm nervous of, though, might be coming out next. We're about to find out. Oh, uh, there it is. Combuskin. All right. So Combuskin's the one Pokemon I was actually a little worried about. So I'm going to go ahead and bring out Zagu. And we're going to do the same technique you guys know against fire types, which is pretty much all we can do right now. All we usually do against fire types lately is uh, go for the sand attacks. And that's kind of what I'm going for. I think Combuskin. Oh, my gosh. Nah, this makes me so freaking nervous. Oh, man. This thing is making me so nervous. All right. Well, we got one sand attack off on it. And it's level 20. I, honestly, I don't. we're not looking that good right now, guys. We're really not looking that good at all. Um, hopefully, he uses... There we go. There we go. We avoided the attack, and we had the chance to use another sand attack. This is the only way we're going to win these battles against these fire types. We really need... A, we honestly need a water type very, very soon. So, if you guys have any suggestions for water types, please let me know. Uh, we really, really need water types uh, ASAP. Uh, we need a water type to take down fire types because our team is we just we, we're a really bad disadvantage uh, You know with these types. All right, I'm gonna go for uh, Let's go for the confusion. Yeah, let's go for the confusion. It's only going for the peck. That's okay. Holy crap That did a lot that did a lot. Oh, I'm really nervous now. Okay. Hopefully it'll miss like this next time I mean we have two sand attacks on it now. Nah, it didn't miss real cool real freaking cool. It didn't miss all right, we might not be winning this battle, guys. We're not looking too good right now, uh, which makes me really, really nervous, actually. I'm going to go ahead and just go for the quick attack. Um, I don't see us winning this battle unless the Kunbuskin maybe misses this next one. And that was a crit. It used the sand attack on us. Oh, son of a fudge. All right, hopefully we land this one. There we go, Boomy. There we go. We're looking good. We're looking good. Wow, that does nothing. Oh my gosh, that thing does so much damage to us. I'm just going to keep rolling the quick attacks, um, and we're going to have to pray for a miracle here. Uh, for right now, we need a miracle, guys, like really, really bad. So let's hope that we can take it down. Uh, let's hope we don't miss here with the sand attack, and we missed it. Oh, wow, we missed two. Okay, okay, let's go for it then. Oh, mother... That might KO us. Wow, that is just really bad luck. Not going to lie to you guys, that's absolutely terrible luck. All right, so with that, we are down out of Pokemon... And I will be back once we take on May once again, because apparently we are such a we are such a, at at such a bad disadvantage we can't even take her on. So I'll meet you guys back up once we've hopefully whooped up May. All right, guys. So here we are again. Basically, all I've had to do to get this Combuskin down was I paralyzed it with Dragger, and then used a bunch of Leers with Dragger too. And then with that, we finally took it down, and we've grown a couple levels, which is really really good. Uh, we gained a ton of XP for that one. Next up is Shroomish. Now we're flying. Now we're good. That was absolutely a pain. Combuskin, real big pain. So if you guys want to suggest any, you know, water types anytime soon-ish, please help me. Uh, that would be real nice because I know it definitely helped us out uh, after, you know, all these crazy things we got going on. All right. Come on, dude. All right. You know what? 
I know what I'm gonna do to this thing. I know what I'm gonna do to this thing. I'm gonna mess it up. I'm just gonna go ahead and switch out and bring out Boomy. I actually have Boomy ready to go. Uh, you know, Boomy did put a lot of damage into that Combuskin. So, you know, we'll keep it rolling. That was, this is actually one of the tougher battles. You know, it's, I usually don't lose battles. But it's definitely been, you know, one of the tougher ones to do lately. Alright, let's go for a quick attack. I'm just trying to run up on these things. I just want to get this battle done and over with at this point. It's been very, very painful. I actually had to pick up revives uh, in order to beat her. So, fun fact, if you guys went with uh, Trico at the beginning... You're going to have a bad time with Maze Combuskin. Uh, it's pretty painful to take her on. Very painful, actually. So, best of luck to you guys. All right, let me see what I can do here. Let me see what I can do. Uh, let's go for the Fury Cutter. Let's see how much damage the Fury Cutter is going to do to this thing. There we go. I knew it should do a pretty good amount. So, let's just go ahead and finish this off, guys. Finally, we defeated May after going for the Fury Cutter once and for all. See you later. Bye-bye, Shroomish. And with that, guys, we're going to gain a bunch of XP. And at long last... We gained a bunch of levels. Thank goodness we needed that. Yeah, as you can see, I'm, I'm level 21 right now. I just got to 22 because of this tough battle. Yikes, you're better than I expected. We got 800 for winning. And finally, maybe we can continue on for once. Roger, you've been too busy training, huh? But look at us. Our teams look pretty tired. Let's get them taken care of. Thank you. Thank you. At least you did that for me. At least you pulled that off for me. All right, guys. With that, we obtained the dowsing machine. Uh, it's actually going to just let us look for hidden items in the grass and all those sorts of places. But for that, guys... Let's just continue on then. She has a bike. When she get a bike? When when do I get a bike? Let me go ahead and use a repel though. We're almost to the next town, guys. So let me go ahead and uh, wait. Where, where am I out of repels? Oh, you have got to be kidding me! This is not my day. Things are not going my way today. I'm not trying to battle any more people either. It'd be real nice if we could just make it to the next town without any battles. And we're actually getting very close to it. Now I just have to dodge this guy. Look. Oh, mother fudge! Alright, I just misstepped into it. Let me go ahead and knock this guy out then. Like, come on! I am tired of battling. My Pokemon are tired too. At least it's just an Abra. Thank goodness. Thank goodness for that. Alright, let's go ahead and send out Boomy. Good thing it's just a little Abra. Little Abra. Let's go for the Fury Cutter then. And uh, we should be doing a good amount of damage to it. There we go. Abra is down. See? You know, once, uh, once it's Gen 1, I remember things. That's... That's just kind of how my life goes. Thank you. Finally. This is one of the most annoying paths. Oh, and Repel's effect just wore off. Maybe I can dodge these patches of grass. Alright, guys. Finally, we are looking quite good. And we have arrived in a path. Mauville City. Alright, guys. So we're here in Mauville City. And it looks like our friend Wally's here, too. Wow, so this is Mauville City. Ah, you seem to be enjoying it, Wally. So what would you like to do? Do you want to... Ooh, they have a food court and stuff? Oh, and they also have the bicycles here, and we also have a gym. Alright, guys, so next time, it looks like we will be continuing on from here, going to the bicycle shop, and making our way to the gym. So if you guys have any tips on what's coming up, let me know. Make sure to like the video. It really helps the series, and I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.